a mess. Jane and her the mobs must have ran. themselves. Our weapons are not strong enough to kill them.
Look, a causeway gate, just as Odo said. Now we can bring the others here. Strange. These causeways have a quiet beauty to my eyes. Anjali, take the causeway back to Rukenvo. Tell Odo and Martin that we've reclaimed the chapter house and bring them back here. In the old Legion, the role of Herald was an honor, especially when the news was good. I'll go at once, and I'll guide them safely back. This place, it hasn't changed so much. We heard rumors of a battle in the swamp. Royalists against Jane Cassinda. What news? You weren't caught up in any trouble, I hope. Someone set traps and guardians on the lower level of the chapter house. Could the legionnaires have set them before they were killed? No. Jane and her mob stormed this place, dragged the legionnaires into the streets. They didn't have time to set traps or wards. Someone's been here after the legion fell. The rumors of a battle were true. Most of the royal army are dead, but we met their general, a man called Devonsey. Devonsey? You're sure that was his name? Thirty years ago, Finn Devonsey was one of us, master of the Legion chapter house in Glacier. And he called himself by a different name, a Legion name. He called himself by another name? What was it? Bohemond, an old and respectable name. He wasn't born to the Legion, so he took the name after he joined. My father knew him, spoke well of him. When the Legion was accused of murdering the King, Devonsey renounced his vows and quit the Legion, insisted that the charges were true. Stubborn man, strong conscience, best tactical mind in the Legion too. Devonsey has Legion blood. He might be willing to join us. He might speak on our behalf, at least. Convince the Queen that we can be trusted. If we seal an alliance with the Royal Court, we prove that Ebb has a future. People would rally behind us. Last I heard, the Queen had retreated to the Glitterdelve Mine. That's where Jane will be going, too. If she gets her hands on the Queen, our war is lost. Devonsey mentioned the Queen more than once. What's her name? Roslyn. She'd be, what, 17 years old by now? Last of the royal line. Jane Cassinder would like nothing better than to capture the girl. With Roslyn caught or dead, resistance dries up and Stonebridge stands alone. How do we know that the royalists will talk to us? We don't. They probably still believe that the Legion murdered the old king. Odo's right. They may be wary of us, but we have truth on our side. What's the fastest road to Glitterdelve? Glitterdelve Mine is a long march from here, many days on foot. Take the causeway instead. The Legion had an outpost not far from the mines. Must have been a causeway there, too, and I doubt the gate was ever sealed. We'll try to find the royal court, then. Is there anyone else who might join us? The Meisters. The Merchant Lords of Stonebridge. They'd be powerful friends. Friends? These people believe Jane's lies. They murdered our brothers and sisters. No reason to think they'll embrace us now. No reason to think they won't, if we show ourselves worthy of trust. At least the Meisters could tell us if any Legionnaires survived. So the Meisters govern Stonebridge. Are they nobility? Nobility? Far from it. They're the richest men in the city. Merchants, bankers, bureaucrats. Stonebridge calls itself a republic now. Ever since the old king died, and the people drove out the last Lord Mayor. Any idea where I can find the Meisters? 
Probably at the old mayoral office, on the main square. I'm told it was converted into a great public hall where the Meisters hold court. Jane is probably besieging the mines by now. The Meisters can wait. I agree. And if Jane is at Glitterdelve, we may have a chance to kill her and finally end the war. Up to you. Martin and I will trust in your decision and will be here if you need us. or excrete in any ways. Please comply with all local laws and customs. Half a minute there. You came from the chapter house, did you not? Tell me, is it true? Has the Legion returned? Only a few of us, but yes, we've reclaimed the old chapter house. Ha! Let them laugh at me now! Meister Wolf, with his silly dreams of radiant children and prophecies of the Legion's return. You had a dream of a golden-haired child? A boy? Precisely so. Not a fortnight passed. I dreamt that I saw a golden-haired boy standing at my bedside. He bade me get up and follow him. You saw the Radiant Youth? Are you descended from the Legion? Wish I were, but no. My father was a merchant, and his father as well. If I'd had any Legion blood, I dare say I'd have been killed with the rest of them, thirty years back. Tell me the rest of your dream. The boy led me through the city square, then up to the chapter house gate. Only, it wasn't dark and abandoned, as it's been for so long. It was clean and bright. Lion banners snapping in the breeze, gates open wide as if expecting the Legion's return. 
Then I awoke, and there I was, standing in my underclothes, in the middle of the street, gawking at the ruins of the chapter house. The child's idea of a joke, I dare say. Still, I knew it was more than a dream. Are any legionnaires still living in Stonebridge? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid not. Jane and her mobs were quite thorough. That whole affair was a mark of shame upon our city. Be assured that I took no part in that travesty, nor did my father or anyone else who bears the name Wolf. I'm here to address the Meisters. We want to propose an alliance against Jane Cassinder. An alliance? That'll be tricky business. I can force them to give you a hearing, at least. I'll warn you, though, they're scared. Scared of Jane Cassinder and her armies. Scared that we'll lose our Republic if she takes the city by force. And scared of... other things, too. The Meisters are scared of something else. Something inside the city? No, forget I spoke of it. The other Meisters will know you've been talking to Mad Old Wolf with his secrets and conspiracies, and that won't win you any friends on the Council. I'm ready to address the Meisters. Capital! I shall go on ahead and announce you. We'll await you inside. Gentlemen and goblins, order! Council recognizes the envoy from the 10th Legion. Meister Wolf tells us that you propose an alliance. A grave matter indeed. Perhaps our colleague forgot to emphasize how deeply we value our neutrality. A war with Jane Cassinder would risk the very life of our Republic. What do we gain by siding with the Legion? The Royal Army is destroyed. It's only a matter of time before Jane Cassinder turns against you. Let us help protect your city. A fair point. We are reasonable fellows, and we know that Jane Cassinder looks upon Stonebridge with covetous eyes. Nonetheless, you can understand why some in the city might fear the Legion's return. Countless Legionnaires were murdered in our streets. People might think that you've come to seek revenge. Just how many of you turned against the Legion? Surely Meister Wolf took no part. We cannot all be Sigismund Wolf. Everyone remembers how he ran about the square, trying to put himself between Jane Cassinda and the Legionnaires. Got himself trampled by her horse for his trouble. Very honorable conduct. A credit to his fine old name. Hear, hear! But understand, those were different times. The Legion were said to be Kingslayers. Many did things that they now regret. We won't punish a whole city for the actions of a few. If you did nothing wrong, you have nothing to fear. Don't you want to find the killers? Why not let the Legion help? Um, how can I put this? Your words don't precisely put our fears to rest. Nonsense! The Legion is no threat. There's far more dangerous things in this city, if you would only open your eyes. Ah, our colleague again speaks of the dapper old gent, no doubt. 
Indeed, sir, I do. You think that the trouble in the foundry is not the work of the gent? Wolf, you didn't say anything about the foundry before. Bad business. The foundry supplies power to all of Stonebridge, but now it's gone silent, and no one knows why. Uh, Maester Wolf, let us not turn aside from the matter at hand. We owe the Legion our vote. No, wait. That hardly seems fair. Force a vote now, and it will assuredly go against the Legion. I propose a recess. Let us each speak privately to the Legionnaires, so that we can reach an informed and impartial judgment. Sounds like a reasonable idea. We agree. Indeed! Well spoken, Meister Mudgutter. Any objections? None? Council declares a recess. We shall reconvene after the Legion Envoy has spoken to each of my esteemed colleagues, and all are prepared to render a judgment. Ah, so the Legion has come looking for my vote. These are perilous times. An entangling alliance is hardly prudent. But I forget my manners. I am Rorik Castle, City Meister and Factor of the Ironmongers. In the council meeting, Wolf said something about the Foundry. Is that your responsibility? Ah, yes. That is our responsibility. The Foundry is the wellspring of our city's prosperity. We keep the economy in motion, and we are the drumbeat of progress. Your guild is obviously important. We need friends like you, and we're willing to prove our goodwill. If you wish to be of service, there is a certain... problem that requires attention. The Foundry is presently... overrun. It's the blasted Cyclopses. They were docile workers for years, but something in them snapped and they've brought the Foundry to a standstill. We'll take care of these Cyclopses, if you pledge your vote to the Legion. Fine, fine, it's a deal. Speak to my foreman, Mr. Snell, at the Foundry. He will explain our predicament in greater detail. Yes, I was wondering when you'd come and harass me. No doubt you're here to solicit my vote for your organization. Let's get right to the point. What can the Legion do to earn your support? Well, you could help me alphabetize court documents. But a better use of your talents would be to help me with an investigation. Normally, I'd have Wolf handle the situation. But it happens to involve a sizable degree of danger, and Wolf is too important to risk. So you're saying you'd rather risk a stranger's life? That's honest. I'm rarely accused of being a nice person, but there you have it. I'd rather not waste city resources and will trade my vote for your work. So, the matter at hand. We've had numerous reports of masked individuals hauling automatons into the crypts under the city. Whatever their aim, they are slowly eroding our defenses, and that is intolerable, especially with Jane Cassinder and her army on the loose. If someone was to mm, enter the crypts and purge them of these criminals, I would owe that person a favor. Have many of your automatons gone missing? Only a few have gone missing. More troubling is that a few have returned looking like they were opened and studied. You said that these crypts are underneath the city? Indeed. Old records refer to them as the Crypts of the Sacred Blood, 
a vast network of tunnels extending from the farmlands in the south. With every passing generation, further tunnels are dug. No one has charted them all. The crypt in question is cut off from the rest, thanks to a tunnel collapse some years back, so you needn't fear getting lost. Consider it done. We'll be back when we've dealt with these criminals. Well then, if you keep your word, I shall do the same and cast my vote in support of the Legion. Good day. Greetings, Legionnaire. If you've come to win my vote, don't bother. My mind is made up. Stonebridge will have no entangling alliances. So that's that. Now, if you need some little task to occupy your time, or if you have a question, perhaps I can be of service. Why are you so eager to dismiss the Legion? I trust the Legion. What I don't trust is this city. It has a dark history with the Legion. Some doors should remain closed. Personally, I wish you great success in restoring the Legion, but I don't feel my vote for you is in the best interest of Stonebridge. Are you sure there's nothing we can do to win your vote? At the moment, no. But worry not, I'm sure the other Meisters will vote for you if you sate their self-interested needs. Now, I do have a task or two for you. It's not going to win over my vote, but I would find a way to repay your efforts. Long ago, the Legion served as the mediator of first and last resort. When an argument ran out of control, the Legion offered counsel. That's all? I thought you might have wanted us to slay something for you. Your first task is to handle a situation with a prisoner of ours, a Krug. He has no crimes charged against him, but his fate is disputed. Many argue he's safer in prison. Others want him free. He's here in the Meister Hall's jail. Make your inquiries there, then tell the automaton who presides over the jail what you've decided. <laughs> it's hardly dragon slaying, but if you're true to the Legion, you'll have time for small matters. Go on now, I've got work to do. Ah, the envoy from the Legion. Is there something else you need? What can we do to win your vote? An alliance will benefit us both. Hmm. There's that word again. Alliance. You won't think ill of me, I hope, if I express a certain degree of... concern. But I shall respect the wishes of the other Meisters. If you can convince my colleagues to take your side, I shall vote in your favor as well. You were elected to lead the city? By a popular vote of almost 70%. Not counting the automatons, of course. Our mayor is elected from among the Meisters, the leading citizens of the town. It's a far better system than we used to have. We put an end to all that autocratic nonsense not long after the old kingdom collapsed. Our city has been a free republic for the past 30 years. I won't take any more of your time. Good day. Indeed. And a good day to you as well. Welcome to the Stonebridge Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to appraise the situation and determine the Krug's fate. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick's prerogative to entrust such decisions to strangers rather than automated constables with decades of experience. Please note that the Krug has been in prison for its own safety. It is highly unpopular with citizens, especially those who own pitchforks. Kerr. How did you wind up behind these bars? Kerr! Kerr! Are you being treated well? Kerr! <coughs> Sorry about that. 
Seems the rattle in my lungs gets worse every year. You were asking about my treatment here? Just fine, thank you. The automated constable here, Kerr, <coughs> tends to my comestibles and keeps away the rabble. You're pretty well spoken for a Krug. A Krug? Kerr. <coughs> yeah, I guess that's what people think I am. I'm human. Just some ill twist of fate made me hideous and homely. If you're not a Krug, why are you locked up? I'm tired of being harassed and assaulted. This time I decided I'd let them think I'm a monster and keep me locked up. Kerr. <coughs> I've thought about getting out of here, but I have nowhere to go. I'm content to just stay here and daydream. I have to decide whether you stay or go free. <laughs> well, I suppose I've committed no crime, unless being hideous is illegal. But if it's all the same to you, I'm safe here. Let them go on thinking I'm a Krug, it won't hurt my feelings. If you let me go, have someone escort me out of the city at least. Welcome to the Stonebridge Jail. I've come to a decision on the Krug. I will enact whatever outcome you deem appropriate. Please enunciate carefully. Let the Krug go. He's done nothing illegal. The locals may try to hurt him, so he should be given an escort out of the city. Very well. The Krug will be escorted to the city limits and set free. No automated constable could have formulated that solution. Thank you. I wasn't certain that the Legion had truly returned, but after witnessing your resolution of the plight of the oppressed Krug proletariat, it caused a great imbalance in my sanguine humors. Fairly had me bursting with them. <laughs> now then, we have much to accomplish. Shall we get started? What do you mean by we have much to do? Who exactly are you? Yes, we. First person plural, in this case collective. I could lend you this excellent book on grammar, but wait, I'm forgetting my manners. I am Reinhard Manx, scholar, inventor, and sartorial adventurer. I have degrees in advanced thaumaturgical studies and non-Goblinian geometry. Naturally, I also have a grounding in the classics, but more importantly to you, I am descended from the Grand Mage Merrick, a legionnaire through and through. That would make him the last of Merrick's line. He must have great potential as a mage. Well, needless to say, it's been my dream to reunite with other children of the Tenth Legion. Second only to the dream of a thaumaturgical waistcoat that can change its color and cut to match the latest season's fashions. If you have Legion blood, why didn't you join us at the Gathering? Oh, you mean the invitation calculated to lure all the Legion descendants into one place? You must be joking. That was obviously a trap. One would have to be suicidal, or at least a great buffoon, to walk into that sort of setup. Oh. Oh my, do forgive me. I should have realized. I meant no offense, but in any case, no, I regretfully declined when that letter arrived. How have you lived in Stonebridge all this time? I thought this town had a bad history with the Legion. Had I trumpeted my lineage, we would have seen democracy in action. The ballot would have been whether I would be lynched or dissected, but still... I used to dream that the Legion would rise up from the ashes. But I also dream of square circles, so make of that what you will. The people of Stonebridge may have committed a terrible crime against the Legion, but I think it's time to forgive and rebuild. Forgiveness is an old virtue of the Legion. I'd say your heart is in the right place. In all my studies of time, I found that you can coil it, twist it, bend it, but it always unwinds the same way. Hatred can't undo the past, so why hold a grudge? Why bother defending Ebb if you can't accept that its people will make mistakes? And of course, forgiveness facilitates the open exchange of ideas. It's hard to have a symposium with a lynch mob. You said you were a scholar, but have you seen any combat? I'm hardly the mage that my great-grandfather was, but I was best in my class when it came to channeling and energy manipulation. I may possess a physique best described as suity, but by application of higher non-Goblinian mathematics, I could rip a man in half with a thought. Well, uh, theoretically I could. It's not as though I- We need everyone in the Legion to join forces. Are you with us? Am I with you? Does the thaumaturgical constant Q trend towards infinity for given values of the human soul? 
The answer is yes, by the way. The Legion needs to stand together, lest we fade into memory. So without further ado, let's be off. I should thank you for resolving the matter of the Krug. Such a small issue, but it required an outside voice. Do you have another problem for me to mediate? Yes, I do. Baron 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 is a wealthy landowner with a claim to many parcels of land here in town. He wants to charge rent to Hans. Hans has an equally compelling claim to the plot of land. Mudgutter informs me it's a case of eminent domain versus original acquisition. With the court deadlocked, both have agreed to let you settle their dispute. I'll have them meet you at the Chapter House. <laughs> 